Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more City Skylines 2. I gave the uh, poll two weeks, uh, about a week, to uh, be, you know, answered. And you guys seem to have overwhelmingly chosen the map Archipelago Haven over Barrier Island. So we're going to begin with that today. Um, I am going to go with the town name of Polos. It is... It's, it's not English. If you want to go look it up, have fun. Uh, I'll let you do that. Uh, but it's a bit of a joke because it translates into island and we're playing on islands. So we're playing the city of Island Island. Yes. Let's, let's start, shall we? Polos, the city of islands, also known as Island Island Island. Islands? All the islands. Anyways, I'm trying to make a joke and it's not working. So this is what we start off with, with the city of islands. We have a nice kind of, I think this is a dumbbell interchange. And what I'm going to do to start off with it, we're going to go to Continuous Road. we go like 50. Make a 90 degree. And come back around. Okay, so that's one roundabout. And then we're going to come over here. I'm going to get rid of the existing roundabout. We're going to make our own. There we go. So, now we have two roundabouts. Question is, which one is going to be <clears throat> residential and which one's going to have our kind of industrial stuff. Now, I do want to bridge across here like we did with Birth Mass, Massachusetts, which is our live stream city. If you haven't seen it, uh, go over to the live stream tab and check it out. But it's also built on the Archipelago map. So I'm going to be taking some of the things we've learned from Birth Mass and applying it here to Polos. Do parallel two-lane road. out this way 90 degrees about how far 200 yards 200 yards <coughs> like so sorry for the cough guys and then we're going to turn off parallel Have a circle like that. Uh, do we want to make this a complete roundabout? That's a good question. I guess we should. There. Complete roundabout. And like we did with birth mass, we're going to take these water towers and we're going to situate them in the center of our roundabouts. Oop, I missed. Did I get yeah, okay I got it that time. There's a one there. One here. And then another one in the center here. This will provide us with plenty of water at the start. So that's water figured out. We've got some streets. We'll have to put in some grids. Let's go ahead and put in our first residential grid while we're thinking about it. Let's put it... Where do we want it? Put a small grid in here. <clears throat> one lane straight from here to there actually let's make that two lane there we go and then two lane straight or two lane continuous curve I should say because we've got to turn it let's 
go about here. Yeah, that's a little weird. You gotta go past the out to go in the in. Hold on, let's do this the other way around. Um... There we go, that'll be in. And this will be out. Okay, so that'll be a neighborhood. Let's go ahead and zone it with some density housing. Then I'm gonna make the roundabout probably where our shopping is. So to do that, we're gonna add in a pedestrian walkway that'll stretch on in here. And then curve around the water tower and we're gonna put in some shops hopefully none of these are gas stations because cars won't be able to get to them and then we'll put shops on the ring here as well just the inner ring. There we go. So we have some residents, we have some shops. All right, let's unpause. Oh, wait, no. We also need to make sure we have power. So we're gonna put a transformer down here. And we're gonna run some power underground all the way to our transformer. There we go. Then we also need sewage. Can't forget sewage, can we? So we're gonna put that here on this bay. I'm gonna grant it two settling tanks. That gets us to a two tiny village. More map tiles, roads, healthcare, death care, garbage, all that fun stuff. Uh, and then we need to make sure we connect this as well. Take our sewage pipe and run it over there. And voila. That is all we need to start our tiny little village. We can already buy a map tile. So I'm going to buy these three. And this is going to be where our industrial zone ends up. So to do that, we have to build a road over that way. So to go ahead and do that, we're going to take our two lane one way straight with parallel mode uh, on continuous curve. We're going to come off this way and see if it'll let us bridge over the shipping lane somehow. Oh, well, maybe it won't. What if we... Okay, so what if I get to here, then we... See, I don't want to have to get rid of the shipping lane is the problem. So, we're going to go from 0 to 30. Okay, how about 33? Okay, 37. It's just that center column that's a problem, isn't it? About 40. Eh, it's not liking it. What if I go to like here? Okay, and then can we... Okay, so we've gotten it to there.
What if we go to... Yes, I know it's in water. I want to make a bridge. I want to just go till... No. No, okay. What if I run it more parallel to the tracks? I know I'm in the water. I want to be in the water. I like the water. The water is where I want to be, yo. So we had this problem in the live stream of not knowing how to bridge over the shipping lane. It proved to be problematic even in our live stream. Um, I don't know if I caught that part on footage in the live stream. May not have. So like, okay, okay, so let's, 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 what, what if I go up to 30? Rotate the camera a bit. Back down to zero. So, the bridge mechanics in this game appear to be currently at odds with itself. A bit glitched. Um, what if we switched to... Uh, no. What if we switched to four-lane tiered bridge? I get that to work. Let's try one at a time. Am I just going to have to delete the shipping lane to be able to do this? How much time have I spent on this problem is the next question. How to bridge shipping lanes. Alright, well for now I'm going to delete it and we'll figure it out later I guess. We're going to run on across the road here. Run parallel to the tracks to, I don't know, about here. Then we're going to put in a roundabout like thing. Yeah. <clears throat> no more par parallel. Oh, let me change the radio because it doesn't keep your settings, which is annoying. My only real complaint about the game so far. Gonna make a tiny little roundabout. Tiny little roundabout. Okay, roundabout. Then we're going to fill this in with a two lane road grid. That'll start like here. This will be a chunk of it, and then we'll come over here to another chunk of it about there. And it didn't save, but that's okay. I think I can get it to work. Not really, that's it. Okay. Let's connect this to there. Then we'll have two lanes going in, two lanes going out. That's about straight. Let's go back to our one lane. I want to try to, our two lane, I mean, try to squeeze in a road here. Another kind of cul de sac. Cool, this is going to be our little industrial center for now. Uh, 
da, 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 da. we'll do here and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and there, and here. And let's bust out the more accurate drawing tool. I don't want it to erase the water. So we're just going to do this instead of all of it. Um, yeah. And then over here, I don't want to erase too much of the terrain so we're just gonna go well I think we'll just actually ignore this side yeah that will be our little industrial zone yeah okay then we can put the rail yard on this side with the cargo linking up to the shipping that'll be cool Oh yeah, because of the highway. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Hold on. We gotta connect the highway to the other side here. There we go. Same with sewage. Actually, let's just do both. Okay, yeah, that should connect it all together now. If we unpause, we should see all the complaints to go away. Yep, okay, cool. We fixed it. Nice. Now then, we will need garbage and we're gonna need medical. So for medical, I'm going to create a... I think I'm going to create a grid in here and we're going to put shops and we're going to put police, fire, medical, things like that in a grid area or such right in here. Start about there, run along the highway till, yeah, yeah, okay, here, here's fine. Or maybe shrink it in a little bit so we can get a bigger. Yeah, and we'll remove center streets. The question is, is that big enough for a cemetery? Oh, it is not. I was kind of hoping it was. It is not. Okay, let's remove these streets. Go back. Grab our cemetery. Remove those streets, remove this street. Cemeteries are big and awkward, but that's okay. We're making it work. Let's just run this two lane. I'm not a big fan of having a two lane here. I'll just connect it there. Okay. Now the cemetery has temples. Ah, not enough space. Okay, we need to move the cemetery down a little bit. Okay, there's a temple. Okay, so temple's on that side. And maybe... Well, okay, I can't put anything on that side because of... I need a road around it. So we'll do this. And then we'll... Have the road come down. Connect those two. Have a road go up. Have a road go around. Hmm. And then I guess we just connect this in at this intersection, which will make a roundabout, since it's going to be pretty busy. Make that a roundabout as well. Can't make these a roundabout, but they're a roundabout, so it's fine. Then we'll put our medical our non-death care. Yeah, I guess we can just put it on the back here. One of these, just, just put it right here. Because if I'm right, it can drive, they can turn out, they can go around this roundabout, or they can come, come down Maple Street, to come down Valley, to head over to the industrial park if they have to. So that's a good spot for our medical clinic. If we can fit the fire and police in here, that'll be a good spot for them as well, I think. So our cemetery will be pretty small with just a temple and two mausoleums. And we'll try to get a columbarium when we have a crematorium. 
Um, although we can fit a second temple. Yeah, let's squeeze in that second temple. That'll make people even happier. Okay. Now we need a landfill. Let's take a look at our pollution. We could put the landfill over here like we did with uh, birth mass, but I think I want to put the landfill as part of this industrial park. So how do we make that work? Well, I think we're just gonna go ahead and chop the industrial park down a little bit. Like so, we can expand it again later. We're just gonna take our landfill and we're gonna stick it I'm going to stick it right about there. Okay, and then we're going to put, make sure it's got waste recycling and at least one hazardous. Ooh, can't fit it there. Can't fit it there. Can't fit it there. Okay, let's move this down the street a bit. Okay. Squeeze in our single hazardous waste collection deposit. And then squeeze this back down that way. Wait, are you confused? All right, let's try that again. That that didn't work for some bizarre reason. So I'm just gonna do it using this method, which is a lot easier if you ask me. Anyways. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is gonna be a really small, small trash capacity only around a thousand tons if we're lucky um yeah it'll be around a thousand tons just barely if i can get it to snap there we go cool so there's our trash Let's put in more industrial in here like right there It'll be a nice small industrial park till we can buy more tiles around it. But yeah, that'll keep the industry away from our people. And we can even put in some housing over here. Which right now there is some demand for medium density, which I'm going to place... Oh, I don't know. Let's think. Medium density, row housing... Put some row housing along Crest Street here. Gonna make this more shopping. Cool. Okay. Everything is growing in. Let's let it play. I'm going to start working on another residential district over here. about there and there and yeah we did that over here okay cool let's 
go ahead and get us more residential. Big old block of residential in there. Then we'll do some medium density row housing inside the circle here. And we'll do some shops here and here to block the noise of the sewage. Put some shops in there. Put some shops in here to block the noise of the transformer. Something like that. In fact, let's make this shops instead of medium row housing because of the transformer. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, there we go. Before I forget, I like the decorative idea of having pedestrian streets kind of walk up to these observation these observation decks that are on top of the um, water towers. We'll put in a loop like that. Fill this shopping back in. And yeah. Man, I love this music. I really do. Just a nice lo-fi, smooth jazz almost feel to it. Nice. Okay, let's put some shops around this one as well. We'll eventually get another like residential down this way. We're just starting with up here and over here for now. Um, yeah. Go ahead and plant some trees. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What do we? What do we already have? What are you? Alders? Okay, cool. We'll just plant some alders. Um, bonk, 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 bonk. Just decorating this little area with some trees. It'll uh, increase the happiness that the um cemetery provides by a little bit. I have to do some mass tree planting at one point. Our city's doing pretty well so far. We need more residential to be expected. Maybe I'll put another uh, cul-de-sac lock back here although with the noise of the highway yeah yeah with the noise of the highway let's put it over here maybe we'll put some lumber in here later for now two lane road grid let's find a point to start off of like here and then let's just find the 90 degree plane and find the base of the hill and line up. And there you go. Two lane road going in. Continuous curve. Two lane road going out. Bunch of housing. Let that fill in. Oh, we're getting a little more industrial demand. Yeah, we do have a very small industrial park at the moment. They are not fully employed though, so I'm going to ignore the industrial demand for now.
Oh, I love all these clusters of shops in here on the walking streets. No one's using them yet, but you know. Oh no, we have some people walking around. Okay. Do a cluster of row housing here. I'm sorry, but you're not filling up your entire plot. Please do. Thank you. That's why I don't really like row housing. They don't, they don't, no, fill in your plot. Fill in your plot. Okay, there, cool. It's got that little stacked look to it. Nice. We are a small village. So we have medium density now and education. So where do we want to put our school? We have residential, residential, and residential. So where do we put our school? We put an elementary here. Does get everyone. Okay. What about here on the back crest street? Okay, it does cover everyone. Or we put it here on Valley Street at the front of the... I don't know about having the elementary school that close to a highway. I think I like putting it back here on Pacific Street. Let's go ahead and place it and give it its... Oop, we got to move it a little bit. Move it down, place the building. I like doing two clinics, got to have those kids nice and healthy. We'll go ahead and give it an extension early. Then we'll start by adding a couple of playgrounds. And that will finish the building off. Lots of happiness, lots of well-being, healthy students. That's what we like. Okay. Now then, the high school is big and monstrous. And that stadium is a pain to place. But I think I see a really good spot for it. Maybe? Oh, just barely. Does the stadium fit? Of course not. I mean, do we need a stadium? Yes, we do need a stadium. <laughs> Let's move it over here. Overlapping what? Oh! Okay, now it's underground. Does that... Yes. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. How does that look from street level? <laughs> She's kind of on the hill back here. I like it. I like it. Let's uh, give it its wings. The library. Which increases graduation rate. And an extension wing. Which we don't really need yet. But uh, it'll come in handy later. And we've got some space over here, so since there's some residential demand, I'm going to take a street from here along the edge of the high school. Let's go to straight line, my bad. And then we're going to go out down to there and connect. Let's put in some shops back here, perhaps, for the students to hang out at. I'm going to go ahead and make this more residential as well. Why not? Not going to do that because it's next to the highway. Same there. Same there. And same with that. So let's go ahead and make this and this more residential. Then we do have demand for high density. So I'm going to start cramming that in, in here. Some of that. Some of it here as well. There we go. Ooh, we got the Pop Musician Mansion. If anyone's got a favorite pop musician, mine is... I don't know, I'd have to look up who's in the Pop Musician category, actually. Not sure I'm all too well versed as who's what's genre for what I listen to. Um, let's go ahead and... We've got to get to Tier 4 to get rail and boats. But I'm going to go ahead and start early buying the tiles needed to expand our... Well, we can't afford it. Never mind. We're losing a lot of money. We must keep growing. 
Yep, lack of labor. It's okay, we're building more people over here. We're getting more people. Let's go ahead and get another cul-de-sac kind of over here. Yeah, we'll start it right about here. Go to about there. Have a nice small neighborhood down here. Two lane, one way road. Okay, so this is going to be complicated for bringing it in and out. Um, let's go continuous curve from here. Yeah, we're going to have to overlap some stuff we've already built. And then it's going to come out to about there and down into there. Okay, that's our in and out. We're just going to have to do it as a two lane. Oh no, that is one lane, isn't it? Isn't it? I thought it was. Should be. Yeah, it's one lane. Okay, so that's in. That's in. Now out is a little more complicated. I'm probably going to go and just come back to this street over here. Roundabout, roundabout. Cool. Alright, like it. Okay, so we now have more residential uh, that we can place over here. And that'll help feed the industrial zone. So let's... Fill this in preemptively with some stuff. And uh, yeah. Let's go over to the industrial zone. They want more, but uh, they're complaining about lack of laborers. So I think I'll wait. Let the bar fill all the way up, and then we'll deal with it. What a patch of none. Yeah, that looks weird. Hold on. There we go. Less weird. <clears throat> This, this road is probably going to see a lot of traffic, I imagine. And what is going on here? <laughs> Whoa, game glitch. That's nuts. Okay, what in the... I mean, everybody seems to be driving around it like it doesn't exist. So, alright, I'm just going to ignore it. Oh, wow, I just looked at the time, guys. We have been going for 40 minutes. I want to say thank you to everyone who uh, came out to watch the opening scenes of Pulos. The Island of Islands, our archipelago map start. It is not going great at the beginning, as you can tell. But, I mean, we'll, we'll fix it, hopefully. Um, we're about to get an installation of cash, so I think I'm going to speed on up. Hopefully something ticks and we get some cash. Let's, let's see if that happens, right? We need probably... Oh gosh, only like 70 XP. There it is. There it is. Okay, and on becoming a large village, I'm going to call this the end of our episode. The first episode of Polos, the Island of Islands. Thank you everyone for coming out and watching. If you would like to see when the next episode of Polos, the Island of Islands, comes out, hit the notification button. And while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed, hit that as well. And if you go over to the right a little bit, there's the like button. If you like the video, why not hit the like button? Anyways, this is Wumpus signing off. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you next time in the next City Skylines episode. Bye-bye, everyone.